In this episode, we say goodbye to French Guiana and Saint Laurent and head off down the Moroni River to turn left as we get to the entrance and head up the coast towards Suriname. Here we hope to leave the boat for two or three months while we head back to Europe. Why don't you come with us and join us for this adventure? Just to confirm things that we are right. There is the boy. Remember we are in uh, red right returning area. So that needs to be on our left going downstream. Really confusing from when you, if you come from Europe where it's all totally different. All else about face, but you get used to it, I suppose. Absolutely amazing. We are, oh, we could just reach out and, and touch the shore. Massive, great big river, and we have to come right over to the east side of the river to get the deep water. And there's the view across to the west side of the river, and as you can see, What's that? Good mile, mile and a half over there. But there is no water. It's all very shallow, it goes down to 0.4 of a metre at low tide. Well, as we get to the mouth of the Moroni River, our stay in French Guiana is coming to the end. It's been a really interesting place to come and see, um, albeit uh, it it is France and it is French prices, so things are expensive. Um, you know, a can of beer in a cafe is four euros plus. The people are lovely, very helpful. Weather this time of year, yeah, well, it's all right if you're a duck, I suppose. It rains and it rains a lot, which uh, we didn't quite realize just how much. We knew it was going to be rainy season, but we just didn't quite realize how much it, it rained. And what that does do, it, it keeps the temperature down. Any days that it doesn't rain and the sun comes out, wow, you soon feel a huge difference in temperature. Would you come here in rainy season? No. If you had a choice, then wait till after July and get here before April definitely worth coming to see. Um, the jungle is fantastic. The culture here is incredible. Um, it's such a diverse mix of people and yes it's, uh, I mean you take Saint Laurent, it's very very new. The buildings are all old, they're what's left of the old prison um, system that was there, but the, the town didn't really start to evolve until the prison closed and then all the buildings got taken over by local people um, and the town started to, to evolve. And it's a lovely place, um, it's safe, um, people are nothing but helpful. And it is, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely place to come and chill out, enjoy the river, the river's great. Um, the, uh, say the jungle, the surrounding area with wildlife. Yeah, there's some nasty bits about, you know, there's, um, there's anacondas if you really go hunting for them. There are some nasty snakes if you really go hunting for them. Um, but, and yeah, once you get into the jungle itself, you are gonna get, all the associated insects and you know, little beasties that bite you of an evening. But on the river, wow, no, they go, disappear. Um, we've had a couple of mosquitoes in the boat at night, but you could count them on one hand how many we've had. So yeah, from that point of view, great. The, the river's really good safe holding up at Saint Laurent and you can go up even further. Um, we actually went to a restaurant with some friends that we'd made there on one Saturday evening. We went by road, uh, but you, we could have gone up by river. And as always, had we more time, I think we would have done. But uh, this cruising life, you know, you don't get a lot of time to do it. 
Uh, it's amazing how the time just disappears. You would think that with all the time in the world, you could go and explore, you could just go and uh, spend time at your heart's content. And the short answer is, it's amazing how quickly the weeks and the, the, the days, the weeks and the months tick past. So we're on our way round to Suriname uh, to a little place called Waterworld where we're hoping to leave the boat while we fly back to Europe for a couple of months and do all the necessary things we've got to do in Europe in the summer. It looks a lovely place. Our friends Stefan and Anna who came with us on a day out uh, at the er earlier part of this week, they got their boat there and they said it's absolutely lovely and it's safe and it just gave us a slightly better feeling. We undenied about leaving the boat on the moorings at Saint Laurent. It's a great place to stop. Would I leave my boat there? Well, obviously not. There's an underlying problem that really we didn't want to be part of. So we decided that uh, it was going to be better to put the boat into a marina. It's going to cost us more money. Um, but hey ho, you know, it's better to have that and come back and know the boat's there, know it's been looked after. What we're going to spend is insignificant to what you could lose. I don't think we're going to get there by the end of today. We'll probably get to the uh, Suriname River entrance by later tonight. And the forecast is good. And of course, we've got the current going with us and all the good bits to whiz us up the coast. And it's only 70 odd miles up the coast. But even if we're doing eight knots that's still nine nine hours and we've got about that of six seven eight yeah we got about eight or nine hours of daylight left going up the river in at night yeah it's possible um, I don't know how far we'll go up but we'll probably stick our nose in and start going up an anchor somewhere been up there before so I know what to expect then we gotta obviously pack all the boat away and uh, catch the plane. Wow, we've been waiting for this for a long time. This is about the first really fantastic bit of sailing we've done since, uh, since we left Portugal because most of the time we've been sailing downwind. We're on a just a broad reach, I suppose. 11 knots of wind and we're making 8.6 knots through the water. Because we haven't turned downwind yet to clear the shallows, we're fighting a bit of current. But yeah, the boat is flying through the water. Bit of a heel on. First time we've had a bit of a heel on for ages. It's, this is what sailing's all about. Getting the boat going, making the spray fly, and really enjoying yourself. Also, we've just spent three weeks in fresh water in the Moroni River, and we could see the bottom getting cleaner. Every time we went back to the boat, we could see all the horrible fouling that we picked up in Jacare just dropping away. And we must have, I can't see it at the moment, but I i know we've got a very, very clean bottom to the boat. Nine, 9.2 knots we're doing. 12.2 knots of wind. That's absolutely fantastic. That's where this boat really does like to perform. She's a windward boat, we are pointing just to windward and she's picked up her skirts and is running for it. You don't need a catamaran to go fast. I am so tired. We arrived last night at about 12 o'clock at the Safe Water Mark, which is uh, probably some six miles from the uh, estuary entrance to the Suriname River. And We've been going great. We've been doing fabulous speed up to just under 11 knots. I think we were doing through the water for hour after hour. So we really got there quite quickly. And then uh, the heavens opened and the wind blew and it went from a lovely gentle 15 knot breeze that we had all day to 28 knots and uh, we were rushing around in the dark, getting the sails down, getting the sails in, and then trying to work out 
the all the voyage and the fishing boats and the tankers. It was like Piccadilly Circus. It was oh so the fishing boats and then all of a sudden you go along and it's like suddenly in front of you there's an orange flashing light pops up and it's somebody like in this dug out canoe with a net over the side and they're right in the fairway and we've only got like less than less than a meter under the keel and we're still four miles out anyway we we eventually got just into the estuary and uh, Super spray, super pages. Um, about four o'clock in the morning, four hours, four hours fighting our way in, and then because we're against the tide as well. What what I've, what we've learned is that these rivers in this time of year constantly ebb out at a huge rate of knots. just the course of the boat as you go along. And consequently you've got this massive flow of water coming out that we we were we were doing six point eight knots through the water and making two point eight knots over the ground. So we found a quiet little corner or so we thought and chucked the hooky over and had a bit of a kip. And we got up at first light we've worked our way up the, up the river. We're about 30 miles up this river, 30 nautical miles that is. It's uh, 50 kilometers, something like 50 kilometers. Okay. And we've got a couple of miles to go. So we're gonna show you what it's like. The river's gorgeous. It's, it's beautiful, green, lush. There's been some quite nice houses as we've passed. And, uh, yeah, we'll show you what it's like as we get there.
So I thought I'd order um, Alex a taxi to take her around and see what's here. And it's turned up, look. <laughs> Go and do it! <laughs> Doesn't have a very tight turning circle, that's for sure. How many point turns? I'm going to jackknife this tailor in a minute. 